Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here, guys. It is getting so crazy at work. I mean, obviously working retail holiday season, everyone's coming in trying to get a gift for their loved one, someone special, you know, the list goes on and on. But we have now entered the period. Oh my God, my sunglasses are like legit sideways. These are the sunglasses my mom sat on forever ago. Okay, sorry, not going on a tangent. Anyways, we are now open every day from now until Christmas day. Well, Christmas day, like... No, Christmas Eve. So Christmas Day, we're closed. I'm not working all those days, but the store's open until then. And it is like madness in a good way. Obviously, like we make a lot of our, the store makes a lot of its money during this time of year. So it's nice. We're always welcoming the business, but it's been crazy. Right now it's like two o'clock and everyone was feeling a coffee. And I was like, me, I volunteer to get out and go get the coffee because what I have been finding, like the winter scaries, okay? Like I leave, it's beautiful out. I, I go to work, it's nice and sunny. And then I come home and it is pitch black, like absolutely pitch black. And I find myself not really going outside anymore to shoot content for like work wise because it's just so cold. I mean, right now it's really not that bad. It's only like 57, which is great for New York. But okay, I like used to like over the summer I would take all of the content outside I'd be walking around I, like I would literally be sweating sometimes just from like shooting this stuff because I'm moving around constantly like whatever and now I'm just like cooped up inside the store and I need to be better about like more mindful about going outside getting some sunlight just seeing the outdoors smelling the crisp fresh air that winter air that is just amazing like I need to do that more. So whenever like Marissa was like, Jenna, are you feeling a coffee? And you know me, it doesn't take much for me to be feeling a coffee. I was like, yeah, I'm feeling a coffee. And then James, my boss was like, yeah, I want a coffee. So I was like, great. I will gladly run out. I'm going to get the coffee. So I'm sitting in the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot, figured out start the vlog because it is already Friday and I have not started vlogging at all this week. Sometimes I just think I'm like, I, I'm just not doing anything fun and or exciting to like post on the vlog. So I'm trying, not that I'm running out of ideas, but I guess it's more so just my life, like whatever I'm doing during the week. And I appreciate those who are here for, for the ride and just enjoy hanging out with me. And I appreciate the comments cause I, I look forward to those and I try to reply to every single person that I can. So yeah, this is just going to be a nice weekly vlog. My only day off this week is Sunday. And so I I need to get outside Sunday, but I know it's gonna be raining, of course, like the one day I have off, it's, it's raining. But I wanted to go through my closet and declutter. Like every season, I like to take out a bunch of stuff and like either take it to Plato's closet, donate it, whatever. And I know I need to do that because there's definitely some boots that are sitting in there that I just do not wear. So I'm probably gonna be doing that later in this vlog. I've had a couple people comment saying like they would like a decluttering vlog. So this might be that one. So stay tuned. What's up guys? It is Saturday. I am at work and I am just shooting some content. Thought I'd show you guys some of these really pretty rings because I'm gonna be putting them on the social media page for Jmark. Here's what I'm doing. I am trying to get outside more like I just said in that previous clip from yesterday. So I thought today, I'm gonna use the wreaths outside and just start getting some nice ring picks. Look at how pretty these are. I think I'm gonna do like a greens post and then a reds post for um, Christmas. So these are all emeralds and some diamonds. And then I'm gonna do another one with rubies, but let me just show you. I just glued on some new nails. So today's gonna be a big content day so I can have them in their prime. Ignore this pen mark, I was just writing something, but Sometimes I still can't believe I get to just play with really pretty jewelry. Like, look at this. I just get to try all this on. Isn't that nice? So that's one. This is the second one. So pretty, so sparkly. These are all emeralds. And then there's this one, also so pretty. I am not a huge Halo fan, but like in colored stones like this, I do really like them. I think it makes the stone pop a little bit more. Everything on my hand right here is $24,000. I just tallied up the math. I will, uh, be posting this on their page. You'll see like the real pretty version of this that I'm gonna make like a real lot of it. And if you're not already, shameless plug, please go follow us at Jmark Jewelers on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Yeah, my boss will love you and love me. So it's a win-win. Woo! Excuse my appearance because we just came back from the gym, but we are doing mimosas this morning. We got some orange juice. This was gifted to us like forever ago from Katie when we moved here. Um, we tried to pop this bottle, this exact one, for our engagement pictures with Frankie, 
and it was so cold out we like legitimately could not pop it so we never got the photos but we got this funny photo trying to pop it here it is today like all these months later we're actually putting it to some use we're gonna make some avocado toast with an egg here it is yum and we're gonna have some mimosas because this is my one day off until christmas so busy yeah. week ahead anyone would like to see the mimosa recipe for me you guys want to see the mimosa recipe here it is yum it's a big pour All right. That's it? Just enough to color the water. No, I want more than that. <laughs> what the heck? Just enough to color the water, he says. What the heck? And also, look how cute this is. Jack's coworker gave us this for the holidays, and here's some of our holiday cards that we got. It's so cute. And it had like a bunch of little candies inside, but you get it? It's a Hellcat. It's Jack without Ooh. the mustache <laughs> and dark brown hair instead mustache of. Mustache coming soon. All uh, right, I don't know about that. Cheers! Woo! We have the whole aesthetic. This look how cute. It's such a gloomy day out, but it's fine. It's fine. And the Jonas Brothers, we stand. Also, when we were in Long Island last week, Dom gave us some fresh eggs. So these are what we've been using for our breakfast. And it's funny because this isn't even white, it's like blue. And then they're all, let me show you the carton. They're all different colors, but it these are that's not the carton that goes with it. We literally just brought that, but like you see how they're all different colors. It's so nice having fresh eggs. These will forever be superior. That avocado toast with the balsamic glaze and a fresh fried egg. Ooh, boom, there we go. And turkey bacon's in the oven. The finished product looks like a little Mickey Mouse, but it's fine. Jack's already dig it in. Done. Yum. Look at that gooey egg. We love. I died earlier today after those mimosas, after I shot all that, Jack and I took a nap. I've always, I said this in the last vlog, I never nap. But those mimosas got me, did not get Jack. You were fine with those. I napped, but I was just back, back in an hour. He so. bounced back up and was good. I woke up and I was unwell. I took a shower, Practice did my hair. Key. Practice is key, he says. I shot a quick Instagram reel for a brand I'm working with and after that, my head just started like pounding. I asked Jack to help me with that video and <laughs> he chucked this package at me. It's kind of funny, but we did a couple takes on that and then, you know, did the reel. But maybe that's why my head was hurting because he was chucking things at me. But after that, we did not do much more. And now we are late shopping for the week. We are getting our staples. Jack is now in the book aisle of Sam's. We do this every single time we're here. He never buys a book, but we're always here somehow, some way. But yeah, we gotta get the week together because I'm working all week and including Monday, which is normally my day off. And then my parents come into town. I've always really wanted some of these matching pajama sleepwear sets to like wake up on Christmas day. Look how cute. I like this one more though. Merry and bright. Let's see if Jack will wear this. Jack. Jack, I found it. Mm. Mary and Bright, baby. Mary and Bright, that's so you. Yeah, I Grinch ones. <laughs> For you, because you're the Grinch? Yeah. But look how cute the family is. Uh-huh. Wait, they have a dog outfit? They look just like them. <laughs> oh, it looks minus... just like Oakley. <laughs> minus the kids. I. This is your size, too. Men's large. Yeah. You don't want to get this? Yeah. This is a, this would be a very Meh. much impulse buy. Meh. Meh. These are $16.98 and I have a feeling that they will go on sale post Christmas. So maybe we'll get them for next year. They also have these cute like sweaters. Look at all the Santas. That'd be great for you. I like the pink. I think you could rock the pink. Pink's your I color. Like this one. You do? Yeah, what are they doing? A TikTok dance? I don't know. Try the large one real quick. Here, let's see. Mm. Let me see it on you. How much is it? Um, like 20 bucks. No, $14.98. I think it's a ladies cut though. Is it? Yeah, there's a girl on it. Does it's it like matter? It's a cut. I don't know. Well, they have on here, it says like men's pajama set. Mm. Let's see. Put You're wearing a sweater underneath it. it, yeah. Oh, that's cute. 
Wait, that looks good. We should do that Christmas morning. Yeah. Oh my shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I could get Holly Jolly. What should I get my mom, my dad? I can get my my mom Joy, my dad Mary. Realistically, we're gonna wear it once and it's an impulse purchase, but these are very good impulse buys. Like they are getting me here. I want these. They look, they're very soft and comfortable too. Do not sleep on the Sam's Club or Costco clothing. They are 10 out of 10. So we're not getting it, but look at how Jack folded this compared to, <laughs> he tried. It looks good. It's just not the way they did. Nah, uh, yeah. They're um. gonna have to redo them. Yeah, I think we're gonna wait for them to go on sale. I really can't. Every time we leave a store, this is how we leave. I'm just waiting for someone to like beep at him because we're in New York, so I feel like someone would actually beep. <laughs> now we're on our way to Walmart because we do like 10 million stops. We can never just get everything at one spot because, you know, savings. And then we are going home and I may or may not clean out the closet. Like I said earlier in this video, I came in real hot with that, but it is really my only one day off. So I'm either going to do that or I'm going to watch a Christmas movie with Jack or I'm going to do both. So we'll see because Jack is going to cook something different for dinner this week than what I'm eating for dinner. Mm -hmm. So that was his truck, not him farting, by the way. Okay, just had to make that obvious because that was really loud. And I actually thought he may have farted for a second. <laughs> but look, he's a good guy taking the cart back that's jack's like number one pet peeve people who do not put the cart back but anyways okay so i may watch a christmas movie or i'm gonna go clean the closet we'll see what we end up doing this is this week's haul wow this looks like a lot on the table but it's really not we had a bunch of coupons it's like buy one get one free this is like our when we don't feel like cooking day we eat some bonza pizza just because it has 17 grams of protein the cheese ones are better than the other flavors in my opinion and we have breakfast stuff. This is for my parents when they're coming this weekend. They like to have this with coffee. That was like only a buck, so why not? And then my dad is obsessed with this microwave-ready bacon. And then Jack and I decided we're going to make cookies out of like the Devil's Food Cake Mix. I'll show this later. Um, I'm going to be the popular kid at work tomorrow because everyone loves food when I bring in cookies and everything. So I'm going to do that. And then doing sandwiches this week for lunch. This is some protein for the week. Jack wanted to try a panetone, so he's trying that. And then this is for breakfast stuff, more rice bread. Jack has some chili stuff. Got some reduced fat cheese, more of our turkey bacon. We're running out of Uncle Dom's eggs, so we got these and then Brussels sprouts. So that's the haul. Now I'm making the chocolate cake mix cookies. They are so good. I made these about two years ago at some friends in Cincinnati when we were doing like a bunch of holiday cookies and these were by far my favorite. It is so easy. All you need to get is one of like the devil's food cake mixes, two eggs, five and, a, five and one third tablespoons of butter and then you mix it all together and then form it into balls. So I'll show you here. Here's what it looks like before I scoop it. It does get really sticky. So, sorry, I'm like filming with my other hand. This is what it looks like. It's like real tough. I still need to mix it a little bit more. And then I'm also going to add in some of these like tiny semi-sweet chocolate chips. Here they are before they go into the oven. Ignore the stains like on my tin tray or whatever. But yeah, 350, pop them in there and I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Okay, I left these in for about eight minutes. I kind of lost track of time, so I hope these are good. You know me, I never really pay attention to the time, but here we go. I will let him be the true taste test. You want to sip for a second? Yeah, definitely let him sip, but that looks good. I feel like that's what they're supposed to look like. Like that one needs to crack a little bit more. Um, the recipe online said you could also add some more chocolate chips on top, but I forgot, so is what it is. So chewy. So when? What do you think? It's good. It needs milk. <laughs> he always says it needs milk. <laughs> okay. This is what's going to work with me tomorrow. Who does she think she is? It's the foot for me. Just hanging off the pillow. Oakley, are you comfortable? <laughs> good morning. I just woke up and it is pouring rain outside. I think we're getting some of like the bad weather from down south, which praying for all those people down there, but oh my God, looking outside this window right now. Okay, this is an awful view because you literally see me, but 
it just sounds so bad out like it just sounds like very windy and rainy jack woke up at like five in the morning to go to the gym because he has to be at work early today and i was like 5 a.m i'm not doing it i'm not doing it so i'm gonna try to go after oh my goodness it's like seven in the morning right now but he texted me saying he's fine but yeah it looks really rough out i'm just wondering i'm like who is getting out of their house today to go shopping and stuff but i mean Oh my god, it's so loud. Look at this. You hear that? Oh, here comes Oakley thinking we're going outside. <laughs> it's like so windy. All right, let me go get ready. Catch up with you guys soon. The weather was so bad. Jack got literally rained out or weathered out, whatever you call it. He said he would elaborate. So go ahead. So we have formation over the Christmas break. The cadets are basically done with school until next year um and the ones that are left are probably not going to meet and ours also we're not going to meet and it's all just because the roads are so bad and we have co-workers with like basements flooding and stuff so um we we're having a virtual formation an hour later and then i think that's pretty much it i love that a virtual formation so since the roads are bad he is driving me to work in the truck so i don't have to take the jetta even though i work i we work like one minute up the road so it's it's really fine it's not that bad right now but the whole fam's here we're all going together i told oakley i'm like we're going on a little adventure to a place i like to call work so going in bringing the cookies they look good and then jack got some candies from one of his co-workers so we're bringing some of these just because it's just going to be way too much for us to have at the house we devoured the cookies that came in it so we're bringing what do you call those like gumdrops gumdrops gum yeah they're like cinnamony Ooh, flavored the gum not the gumdrops <laughs> so we're taking those in and just kind of doing a free-for-all we have like one of those communal tables at work so whatever's on the table you can grab Oakley, bye <laughs> Oh, she's not doing it. She was just barking so... I somehow convinced my boss and Marissa to do the holiday. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Wait, what she, convincing like, had you said? Hey guys, do you want a drink? And we said yes. I mean... No. Okay. So we're open okay. on Christmas Eve, and we are doing the J Mark drink this year as holiday April spritz. Oh yeah, that so, did take some convincing. Yes, because it wasn't just no, like so we're not. doing this immediately. So <laughs> I said we have to practice before we do it, and I need to send out like an email with a picture of the April. So I'm sorry, can you hear? Is the audio good? I'm gonna cut this out. Oh. Look at your dad being grumpy over here. He's, he's gonna say grumpy. something. He's always grumpy. We need. No, oh, no, he's not. No, he wasn't that grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> he was so nice. So we have all the stuff. <laughs> and and um, we have all of these. They're not really glasses for Aperol Spritz, so we're just gonna use wine glasses, but it'll be all right. <laughs> I can't. So Marissa, it's gonna be my co bartender. And we're gonna try to make this. I literally have a, uh, a recipe online, like on deck, because I notice I order these, but I never really like make them on my own. So let's see, let's hope they don't suck, okay? So we had champagne here like two days ago, and Marissa and I are not convinced that these are clean, clean. God, why? This well, they are clean, but look, they they're, use they're the, the work sponge, and sometimes Mike has sponge. tuna and uses that sponge, and it grosses he me replaces out. replaces the sponge once a week. But today is People Monday. People don't do that in their today house. Monday. Which yeah. Which means he replaced it last week since he didn't replace it yesterday. Uh, so it's a week of tuna. A week of tuna. <laughs> Mike's tuna. It's working here. It's a week of tuna. So, can you actually do it so I can record it? I know I said I would do, do it. Can you actually make the app? Oh, you're doing the... Uh, yeah, I don't actually expect you to do it. <laughs> yeah, Jenna. Oh, I'm going to make a drink for everyone. No, you're not. I came in really hot saying I was going to make everyone an Aperol, and then look who's doing it. Not me. No shit. So it's... We, we knew. That's... Okay, it's three ounces of Aperol, three ounces of Prosecco, one ounce of cranberry juice, two ounces of club soda, one orange wedge... Yeah, and then a sprig of oh, rosemary. And room. guys, <laughs> these sprigs are fresh sprigs. Wait, oh I missed God. the orange yeah, twist. Miss that looks great. Twist. Were you a bartender no, before this? Just have common sense. Okay, coming in hot. I don't know how to explain this to you, Jenna. 
<laughs> oh my god, James! <laughs> what did that hit? It hit the chandelier. The chandelier. Oh. <laughs> it didn't break. It, it didn't there. break. It didn't break. Go oh, Wayfair. <laughs> Wayfair, please sponsor J-Mark Jeweler. I need the taste test. Please go. James is like looking at this and doesn't even want to drink it oh, really? after no. he just made all of this. <laughs> drinking with you have to first. drink it. It's the drink of choice. Right. I'm drinking with my eyes. For this. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. You tried my Aperol the other day at when I'm we sorry. had at the staff dinner and you were like, that's great. I don't believe I used those words. Yeah, you did use those words. It was great in my brain. Oh, I say, wow, Jenna, that's a really mediocre post. So you like, <laughs> she'll then take that and be like, I'm the best employee ever. I am. Thank you. I'm off of work and I'm picking up Oakley from the groomer. Jack dropped her off while I was working at like two o'clock and they just called. Oh my gosh, it was like a four hour ordeal. So going to pick up the baby. She's gonna look all cute for the holidays. Let's go see. Oakley Moo is a bad girl apparently. Did not like the clippers at all. And um, thankfully our groomer was very patient with Oakley. She said she almost had a call and say she couldn't do the service. So it's fine. She's groomed. She's pretty. Oakley, I didn't even get to hold her. She just ran in the back. Come here. Come here. Mama. It's like a dark black hole, okay? I'll show you guys when we get home. To be quite honest, I'm not pleased with how it came out. All of this is like still, okay, Oakley. Uh, the groomer said she did not do a great job, so that's probably why it looks like that, but I've also never had any other issues in the past, so yeah, you live and you learn. At least she's clean though, and that's all I could ever want, but she's probably gonna need a new haircut here soon. I just rinsed off, I'm making some popcorn as a snack for tonight. Jack is drumming with his former roommate Chun. They are like practicing on some drum stuff together. So I think I'm just gonna take tonight to catch up on some editing because I know it's gonna be a really busy week ahead. And I think tomorrow I just kind of need to be in the work zone and start working on the next week's vlog. But thanks for being here. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas. If you guys are celebrating, I will not have a vlog out until after Christmas. So like my normal Wednesday follow-up schedule. So I'm excited for that vlog though because my parents will be here. Jack and I are gonna be in the city for a bit. So it should be a fun one. I know this vlog was very worky, but that's really what my life's been like this week. It is a true work week in the life vlog because yeah, don't have a day off until post Christmas. Well, Christmas day, of course, you know, we're gonna have the holiday off. We're not in news anymore. Anyways, have a great Christmas, happy holidays. I will catch you guys next Wednesday. Bye. Bye.